This is an Arizona's family news update. And good morning, Arizona. I'm Scott Passmore. Here's the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's family newsroom. Arizona now passing the 60,000 mark of coronavirus cases. The Department of Health says we added another 3,000 reported cases uh, yesterday, bringing the total to just over uh, 63,000. Another 27 deaths also reported yesterday, bringing our total close to 1,500. The positive number of all tests, 8.9%. That number was as low as 5.5% during the testing blitz. Arizona DHS reports we are now at 88% of ICU bed capacity. Over 600 ICU beds statewide are being used by COVID patients right now for inpatient beds as a whole. We're at 85%. Well, that's a slight drop since yesterday. Experts say if we continue with an upward trend, we could be out of beds in two to three weeks. Of course, over just the last uh, week, several Valley communities have acted to slow the spread by enacting mandatory face mask requirements. Hopefully it will help. The city of Tempe is expected to settle a lawsuit filed by the family of a teenager shot and killed by police officers. In January of 2019, 14-year-old Antonio Arce was shot in the back while fleeing down an alley with a pellet gun. The officer involved, Joseph Jane, was not charged in that case but did lose his job with Tempe PD. Attorneys for the city and the teen's family have agreed on a $2 million settlement. It's on the agenda for tonight's city council meeting. Here's a look at your forecast. You're not going to like today. Try to stay in the shade or drink lots of fluids out there. 111 for the high, but then we're going to start to cool off a little bit by the weekend and into next week where we should see temperatures in the low 100s. For updates on more stories we're following, you can always download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Scott Passmore. Have a great Thursday out there.